So TMS is essentially, you kind of can guess that there's a magnet involved because of the magnetic stimulation part. So what we have is essentially a very high powered magnet. It's essentially an MRI strength magnet. And what we do is we use and kind of, you know, harness the power of that magnet to generate an electrical field in a very focal point in the brain. So what we do with medications is we try to alter brain activity. So folks that are depressed, their brain isn't functioning as optimally as it could be. And we use medicines to kind of peripherally try to boost that activity and improve the efficacy of you know, mood and anxiety and all of that. With TMS, what we do is we use the magnet, which um, through the help of a coil and lots and lots of layers of technology that I won't get into, um, we use that very strong magnetic field to penetrate the cortex of the brain. It's completely painless um, and incredibly safe and allows us to, in a very focused way, treat those regions of the brain that aren't functioning optimally. So rather than a medication that has to go through your whole system, we're doing it very directly and very focally. So essentially, the folks that come to us that are referred to us um, from outside in the community, from our colleagues here, are people that either haven't responded to or don't tolerate medications that are traditionally prescribed by psychiatrists. Antidepressants, anti-anxiety medications, antipsychotics, that sort of thing. And the patients that haven't tolerated meds are those that might be, um, might have conditions that prohibit them from taking psychotropic medications. Issues with the liver, with kidneys, with their heart, or even pregnant women. Before they come in for the initial actual treatment session, they are seen by both myself and by Dr. Serena Newman, who is the clinician that works with me in the TMS department. Um, Leonor Aquara, who is our coordinator, will actually already screen the patient, so t making sure that they're actually appropriate for TMS, that they don't have any medical conditions that would preempt us doing the TMS. When we first meet with them, we kind of get a sense of the quality of either their depression or their anxiety to figure out if we believe it's going to be effective. Um, so the first day that they come in for actual treatment, they've already met us and exhaustively talked with us. And the first day they come in, we schedule them for an hour to two hour session. And the first session is usually the longest, and what we're doing during that session is kind of mapping their brain, mapping their cortex, and figuring out what specific area we actually need to stimulate with our magnet. And then each session beyond that is really just figuring out how intense we need to stimulate them and actually delivering the stimulus. So on average, the treatment sessions are about half an hour. They're really not that long. So nationwide, it's seen a great deal of success. That's you know in part what prompted the FDA approval of its treatment for major depression. What we've noticed is we've had patients that we've treated for depression, anxiety, and OCD, and we've seen really good results so far. Generally speaking, what we've noticed is usually after the first week of treatment, people start to notice either an improvement in their mood or in their anxiety. A lot of times what will happen is that folks will come in and say, oh, I did this, this, and this today, I did this, and you know, when you question them, well, would you have done that a week ago before you started treatment, they'll look surprised and say, no, I wouldn't have. So it'll be little things like that that we'll start to notice in the first couple of weeks. Treatment for depression can range between five to seven weeks, so it can take some time to see full remission. Um, but yeah, usually in the first couple of weeks, which is pretty amazing, which you wouldn't see with a medication.